How you going, people? Well, I've been uh, attacking cops for shooting dogs, hell, since they started shooting them. Uh, it's become so easy and so routine and no justification and no accountability that you can shoot a chihuahua with one leg laying in his bed and saying you were threatened and nobody will question it, and it's just outrageous. Now, in this case, this dog was actually aggressive, but didn't bite the guy, and I'm a big proponent of, you know what? You cannot shoot a dog until he bites you. I don't want to hear, he growled, he smiled, he made a noise, I thought he was going to attack, he moved, he looked like he was going to move, he was in the area, he came out, he surprised me. I don't want to hear all that BS from these pansy cops who are out there shooting dogs just because they can. Uh, this shooting turns out bad, and he ends up shooting a kid sitting behind the dog because he panics, and he's so used to, hey, if a dog comes at me, I'll just pump rounds into it, and he doesn't clear his background, uh, and he ends up getting fired, and I, I'm not sure he should have got fired, but to me, the agency should be liable for not having better use of force against dogs. If they had a better policy, this wouldn't happen. When agencies fire cops for doing things that they allow them to do and that they approve, they're trying to distance themselves from a lawsuit so they can pay out less money. What the agency should have been is, you know what? Our cops shoot dogs all the time, and the officer was following policy, and he should have cleared the background, and he actually didn't shoot the kid. It was a ricochet off the ground, and only part of the bullet hit it, and things happen. Uh, you know, but instead, they threw the officer under the bus like they will always do and fired him. So let's take a look at this video here. Now, one of the things that I, I can't get is what they were in there for. They say that they were going in to look for a gun. I don't know where the parents are at. If you notice when they walked in, the kids kept playing video games and were still sitting around the room. Uh, to me, that's not a normal response when cops come in the house. It's normal when the cops are always in the house or the cops have been there several times before. Most kids, when cops come in the house, it, it's odd and it's strange. They usually stop what they're doing. They ask their parent, etc. So, again, I don't know what happened before this. I'm only going by what I see, but the kid's response was not what I would say was a normal, like, I wonder why these cops are here walking around my house. And the, the kids didn't give that response. I think they're looking for a gun. I don't know why they're looking for a gun. I don't know why they were there, but they're in this house walking around with kids. Okay, got a dog inside here too. Well okay, so they said they got a dog inside there. Now, that comment to me, I don't understand if they knew that before they went in, if they were surprised that they just found out, did somebody already see the dog, was the dog locked up and they opened the door and let the dog out? There's a lot of questions I have here, but regardless, the big problem I have here is the unaccountability of officers for shooting dogs for no reason. It's become routine. It's become standard. It's become accepted. And it's wrong. It's deadly force. Innocent people can get hurt. Cops shouldn't be shooting dogs unless they're biting somebody. When I had to shoot two dogs, it was actually chewing on one of my partner's legs, and my partner was trying to beat him off with a stick. So in that situation, hey, I, I don't want to shoot a dog, but I had to. Uh Nowadays, though, cops are shooting. I mean, I've protected a lot of dogs on a lot of warrants. They just want to shoot him when they walk up the door because he's tied up by the door. Oh, I'll shoot the dog. No, I don't shoot the dog. I'll go in and move him. I moved some lawn chairs around him. I protected him so he couldn't get to the scared pansy cops so they could get in the door. I stood between them and the dog because when I walked up to the dog, he was barking. But as soon as I walked up to him, his tail went down. He went in the corner. So he wasn't aggressive. Now, granted, I've worked with dogs and I'm comfortable with dogs, but... They've just made it too easy for cops to pull their gun out and start blasting dogs for no reason. That's why this kid is shot. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so did the dog look like it was going to attack? Hey, the dog finds strange people in the house. He sees all his kids. He's protecting his area. He did bark. He did look like he lunged. Hey, he didn't bite the cop. Take a, take a bite, you freaking pansies who are shooting all these dogs. 
It's not going to kill you. I've been bitten probably 40, 50 times. It's not that big of a deal. Quit being such a pansy and shooting dogs just because you're afraid that he might get a little slobber on your terrier uniform. Oh, I'm so tired of cops shooting. This little girl is going to pay for the rest of her life. How do you think these kids are going to deal with this for the rest of their life? Cops come in and shoot my dog and shoot my sister. Yeah, that's public relations right there. So the cop double tapped, which is normal. Again, people always say, why do they shoot twice? Look, one bullet never stops anything. You could miss. Cops are trained to double tap. You should train to double tap. You should never train to shoot one bullet. That's why the idiots run around saying shoot them in a pinky toe, shoot them in the kneecap, shoot their left earlobe off. Why did you have to kill them? I mean, they just they don't understand that, hey, when your life's in danger, you want to shoot to get the guy to stop and get off you. Otherwise, you'd lose and you die. So double tapping, I got no problem with. Uh, he violated kind of, he didn't clear the background. He didn't have a safe background. He put the kids in jeopardy. He put the kid's life in jeopardy because he was afraid to get bit by a dog that didn't even bite him. It just barked at him and scared him. I mean, this is, this is a policy issue. Now, everybody's going to say cops need more training. When you yell cops need more training, you're talking huge budget increases. You're talking thousands of thousands of dollars in hotel rooms, weekends, travel, per diem. They'll send all these cops to training. Cops love training because they're not out on the road chasing calls. And we get to sit in a hotel. We get to drink at night. We get to party. And we get to go to sit in a classroom during the day and catch some Zs. So all the idiots calling for more training, they don't understand. Man, you can send cops to training 365 days a year. Cops will be happy. You'll be spending a lot of money, and it doesn't matter what a person is trained. What matters is what they do and why they did it. This is a policy issue. It's condoned in all agencies. It's wrong. Absolutely unnecessary. And you know what? Cop got fired. So the agency go, oh, we fired a cop. You know what? They ought to sue that city left and right and the state and just go at them at 20 different annuals and see how many times they've shot dogs and how many times nobody was disciplined for shooting dogs. And then it becomes an issue of this is standard operating procedure. When something becomes SOP and it's condoned by the agency and it's condoned and it's known to violate policy or there is no policy to prevent it, then it therefore, just by happening, becomes endorsed by the agency. This shooting was endorsed by the agency through their prior practices and their lack of enforcement of other dogs, they ought to be held heavily liable, and this cop shouldn't be fired for doing what other cops have done and what the agency has pretty much said, we know you do it, we're okay we do it, we're not going to do anything to you if you do it, unless it goes bad, and then we'll say we didn't know and we'll fire you. All right, we'll end that there. Uh, link to this uh, source video will be in the description.